Hello, Cancer. And um, you're trying to, you know, uh, I, I feel like it has been overall very, very pleasant. It taught you a lot about growth, responsibility, how to be a good relationship partner, and how to be, you know, emotionally, physically available for your relationship partner. I feel that it's also a situation that is built on reciprocity. So it was a pleasant experience. And um, both sides were taking great care of one another. I also feel that, you know, um, you are deeply a homebody and you are very much relationship oriented. And you, um, no matter what, you, you tend to give a lot of yourself in relationship and you want emotional connections. Um, I feel though, you know, coming in for this month, you're looking back at all the significant relationships in your past, and I feel that um, you're learning a lot from them, but you're also realizing that maybe it's time to go. Uh, it doesn't mean that the other person is not a good person. It just means that, you know, the time has come for you both to part ways and potentially to see other people. And I, I feel like for a lot of you, um, you don't you don't shy away from commitment, but I feel that commitment is not something that you're interested in right now. You are worried about your financial base, and I do feel that you want more out of your life, and you want more experiences. So you're taking on more of a Gemini type of trait where you want to tread through life lightly, go and come and go as you please, and just, you know, overall, overall just live the life of a bachelor without... A lot of restrictions, I feel, without a lot of stability. Because for you at this point, stability is nice, but it seems a little bit restrictive. So let's see what else is in store. Three more cards. Yeah, so this is the month in which you're breaking out and you're trying to find... You're, you're trying to find a life that is more authentic to you. So let's talk about this first. I definitely feel that for a lot of you, um, with the tower situation, when it shows up in the reverse position and on top of the moon card, there's a lot of clarity. And I feel like a lot of this has to do with, you know, the fact that you spent time alone, you've gone off on your own, and then you're starting to arrive at answers to a lot of life's questions. So this is whatever has been, you know, brewing in the past where you feel like, I'm with somebody that I actually really care about, but I feel like we're not on the same page, we're not on the same chapter, possibly not even in alignment with one another. It doesn't mean that they're a bad person, but I definitely feel while the relationship is actually quite stable, I feel like it's lacking in chemistry. I feel like it's lacking the, the fire. And in the process of leaving this one relationship, you are heading towards something that is a little bit more passionate, okay? So... It's not a bad energy at all. I feel like one thing has to be left behind in order for something else to come in. And I definitely feel, you know, one relationship, possibly very long standing, is coming to an end. And this isn't, you know, a surprise because the tower in the reverse, it lessens the impact. But I also feel like it's a situation where it's kind of like a long time in the making and you feel as if it's very difficult for you and another person to... Um, not that there's disputes. I just feel like it was one of those humdrum type of um, relationship where it was nice and, it, it, you know, the other person is nice and they're sweet. But there was a lack of chemistry. There was a lack of um, passion, romance, and things like that, okay? So if you're in that type of a, a situation, I feel that this is the month in which, you know, it might come to an abrupt end or it might just you know start to fizzle out for you if you've been dating like four six months i feel like this is the month in which it's kind of like the make or break in the relationship um i do sense that for a lot of you um it might be a fellow water sign but i feel that you know there is potentially like a a pisces a pisces associated with this situation and i do sense as well that there is definitely reciprocity but i do feel that you know whatever the situation concerning the start of that relationship it was one of those things where it was like the safe choice the safe bet and you're not looking for safe anymore you want something else that will ignite your passion and and i feel like for a lot of you you might be leaving 
physically leaving an environment that is very safe and venturing out into something new. And for a lot of you, it might be on the relationship front, okay? Now, let's talk about the financial situation. Um, I do feel for a lot of you as well. Whatever work situation that you've been in, I feel that you're sensing that sense of dissatisfaction coming through where you're not emotionally nurtured in the relationship and you feel as well that it doesn't have you know job security so there might be a, an environment where you're hitting the glass ceiling or there might be a situation where you feel as if even if you were to work with them there's like a um, income cap and you people can't you know surpass it so it's sort of like it's an environment that is not conducive for long-term growth. It seems as if, you know, you can climb the corporate ladder or the career ladder or, you know, fast track. But there's like that sense of, you know, hitting the ceiling, hitting the limit. And as a result of it, you might look elsewhere for other ventures. And I do feel if you were to do that, something else that is a lot more exciting is going to come through possibly by the very last week of the month okay something else that is not only made or created specifically for you but I do feel it is going to bring a lot of happiness and satisfaction and it's also you know allowing you to reignite your life in a very very beautiful way um, I feel that you know starting out the beginning of the month there's this sense well the, the first 10 days I would say uh, there's a lot of residual energy from January. It indicates to me more of like, you know, a sense of boredom I'm sensing. Like a sense of boredom, a sense of monotony where things are kind of flat. And you're looking for excitement. You're looking for something new. And you're trying to uh, expand your, your territory, the scope of your exploration. So I feel like you're, you're just looking out and you're surveying your environment and you want something new so there's an immense restlessness about you and I feel like you you are in the process of um, I, I'm, I'm sensing like it's almost like a ship and uh, it's been you know docked for a little bit too long the um, I guess like things are starting to rust and you know ships are not made to be docked they're made to explore the oceans and they're they're made to you know go through turbulent waters and voyages and they they're made for the emotional highs and lows so i feel like that's what's happening here i feel like a sense of stagnancy boredom things are kind of uh, drifting along and you don't like the direction so you're trying to do something very very drastic in your life in order to find passion in order to find the joy of living once again so that's what I'm sensing coming through here there's a sense of boredom um, coming in around the 15th of the month I do feel for a lot of you there is potentially new work situation new projects new relationship partners or new romance coming in for you as well and you're going to go for it because I, I do feel that there's something new coming in and it, it's it's sort of like you might not initially want to do it but I do send or to go forward with it but I do feel that you know as long as it's new you're less picky about it but I do feel it is going to pan out quite well for you okay so by the 15th or so if you are feeling that sense of you know urgency to do something new break out of your shell break out of your comfort zone and you know branch out and move on ahead with the new things um, I'm getting this, you know, repetitive motion. It's kind of like life is 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 cyclical. It's almost like you you're you're going around and round in circles, and you you feel very much stuck. You feel as if you know finances are okay, they could be better. Relationships are okay, they could be better. And you know the house situation, it's okay, but you know you don't mind a bigger venue. So all of these things are like pushing you to to seek other opportunities and to branch out and at the same time the star when it's in the reverse it deals with you know being shown the way being uh, spiritually um, emotionally in a stable place where you are able to hear your soul's calling your soul's yearning and at this point when it's in the reverse position it indicates to me that you know something is missing in your life you just can't pinpoint what it is and as a result of it you're just um, dissatisfied okay and rather than moving 
out and having a game plan and trying to figure out, you know, what am I really looking for? Why is this sense of deep dissatisfaction coming through? I do feel that for a lot of you, you're just going to go out into the world without a compass, without an agenda, and you're just going to, you know, go where the wind takes you and wherever the, you end up, you, you feel like as long as it's new, it's going to be fine. Um, I also feel this um, very, very immense calling. I, I feel like there is somebody from your past, and this is, you know, as far back as like 2015, some significant, major, major, significant relationship. And I, I feel like there's a, a yearning, there's like a calling, but you know that in order to get back to it, you, you've done a lot of transformation on yourself. And I want to say this isn't one of those, you know, troublesome relationship. There was a really beautiful, deeply rooted relationship in your past. For some reason, it fell apart, but it wasn't like a nasty breakup. It wasn't, um, it wasn't one of those, you know, cheating situation. It just fell apart on its own because you both were walking on different paths. Okay, I don't feel there's resentment or hostilities involved in this situation. I definitely feel that it was a beautiful relationship. And there's like a, still a, a very strong connection, you know, a very strong sense of affection. I feel like the love is not there anymore, but there is a very strong pull. And for some reason, you're being guided here. But I feel like you're not going to, it wouldn't be in your best interest to return to that, even though you have an opportunity to. And something is opening up for you where you definitely have an opportunity to return to it if you choose to. But I do feel that in the process of going back, you are going to have to traverse a lot of, um, it's going to dig up a lot of, um, I would say, anxieties that you felt in the past when it comes to your views regarding finances, your views regarding commitment, stability, foundations, you know, uh, of the relationship, your views regarding, you know, your sense of independence and your sense of like wanting to work with another person. So all of these things are com coming back up for re-examination. And I feel like a lot of you are looking back at a situation that transpired in the past very fondly and you might yearn for it once again, but you know going back to it is just not the practical route because you're meant for something else. So the moon in the sun, whenever I have one of those planetary aspects or plan planetary cards that show up, like the moon, the sun, the stars, and things like that. Well, we both have the moon, the sun, and the stars, actually. Um, whenever I see these three planetary cards in the same deck or in the same spread, it's usually a very, very major transformative month where our subconscious, well, the moon is in the reverse. The moon deals with emotions, feelings. It deals with how we express ourselves on an emotional level. It deals with, you know, the things that we need in our lives in order to, to achieve security, to achieve emotional balance. The star deals with hopes and aspirations, and the sun deals with the public image, okay? This is the month in which, you know, you're a water sign, but I feel like you're suppressing, you're suppressing, or you're at least being able to see your emotional needs, but I feel that the public image, your status, your mark on the world means a lot more to you than all these other things, okay? So, it's sort of like going out into the world in order to achieve financial stability, in order to achieve happiness, wealth, status one all of these things are the things that you're really really looking for this month and you're starting to realize that unless i have this all the relationships that i have all the you know people in my life i can't offer anything to them so in the past you might have offered love affection and things like that but now you're starting to realize you know i want this for myself i want this um public image i want this um this sense of success for myself, I you're using your own barometer for whatever success means to you. It could be, you know, owning five different houses, owning a really nice car, whatever your barometer for success is. You feel like this is the month in which you want to travel light and you want to be able to achieve this so that you can 
once you achieve the success, it it's it's not greatly tied in with money either. I don't feel like it's like a financial success. I feel like it's more like being happy with the the work that you do, taking pride in your work, and also getting recognition for your hard work and your skills and expertise. You're feeling as if once I have this, then the right relationship partner will come into my life, or the right people will start to you know. Um, gather around me so I feel that this is a, a very very independent type of month where you want to be on your own where you're trying to you know cultivate a lot of success in your own life because you feel that giving love to somebody is not enough okay and there's no judgment call here but I definitely feel that whatever situation in the past you felt like you know the, the relationship was beautiful, but it had a faulty financial foundation, or at least you had a faulty financial foundation. And as a result of it, there was, you know, um, you stuck it through thick and thin, but the financial worries caused the breakdown in communication. It pro caused a lot of problems in the relationship. So you're starting to realize that I need to build this up first. I need to be happy on my own in order for me to have a relationship. And I do feel by the end of this month, a lot of you are looking for new relationship partners, okay? So I feel like a lot of you might have been dating like water signs and, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. And the relationship was very nurturing, but it was also very emotional. It was like a very emotionally heavy, not in a bad way, because I feel like there was great rapport here and it was built on reciprocity. Um, but I, I feel like it was a very emotional experience you know you look back on it fondly and you would you know given the chance you would go back to it but I feel like you know that both parties were not on the same page okay and additionally um, I feel like you're shifting out of that and you're shifting towards potentially fire signs and fire signs are um, Sagittarius Leo and Aries, and I'm getting the sun here, which is something that burns very, very brightly. So in the past, there might have been Aquarius. Uh, um, this is a card of Aquarius. Aquarius, Pisces, even, you know, sun, moon, rising. But in the future, there's more of a fiery energy moving forward into the end of February. And I do feel that um, in meeting somebody who is pretty much, you know, who encapsulates like what success means to you this can be somebody with a high position or they're just in the limelight or in the they're in the public sphere and they're also in a situation where you know they're they don't hold on to grudges they're very easygoing and they're very like they, they feel very liberating to be around they live and let live and they don't really criticize or make judgments of other people so it's a very beautiful energy and I feel like for a lot of you you're starting to realize as well that this is what you want you want somebody to be in your life but at the same time that whole sense of you know having a, uh, a putting a label on things you know calling calling it a relationship or even calling somebody you know your girlfriend boyfriend and things like that you feel like these labels are unnecessary we should just all be happy and unencumbered and you know just to enjoy one another's company so I feel like a lot of you are rethinking relationships and you're also rethinking you know what success means to you as well so in a work environment especially I, I feel like for cancers for the past few months there has been some type of financial worries and um, when there are financial worries when you you feel like your bank account is you know dwindling there's like an absolute spending freeze and I feel like that's something that has happened in the past and you're managing it better I feel you're managing your finances a lot better and you're also I feel like you're researching into ways in which you can seek self-employment so that you can have a more financially stable future I do feel that for a lot of you you know the, the nine of Pentacles is having financial freedom and this is basically a self-employed person I mean she has her assets growing for her it's a cute she's accumulating wealth without having to lift a finger so she has time for leisure and I do feel in the past a lot of you it was just you know you're in a place where you were 
concerned about your your finances. You were concerned about um, building up that financial future, and then you realized that you were approaching it the wrong way. So I feel for a lot of you this month, you're thinking into how, you know, possibly doing research, or you're picking other people's brain, or you're asking other people what they're doing in order for them to achieve success. Either that, or you are seeking guidance as to what success really means. Because I feel like it's not just about money. Um, your viewpoints regarding love, relationships, money, finances, status, and, and things like that are changing. So you're going through this you know, em emotional, uh, almost like this up and down, regarding what you believe in about love, life, and all, all of those things, and then you're changing that when it comes to the end of the month. So what I mean here is that you're researching into ways in which you can achieve self-employment, first of all, or you are t looking into ways in which a lot of you, there might be, you know, new children coming into the household and you are thinking about, you know, other ways of making money in order to accommodate new additions into your household is what I'm sensing. So this is going to be a very, very monumental month for you. And I do feel that for a lot of you, um, I'm sensing as well that There's a lot of new energy coming through, and I do feel that it's very conducive. It's very conducive for reconciliation. It's very conducive for reaching out to other people, but I feel that you're, you're pretty much keeping to yourself, and I do sense there's this uh, great wanderlust about you. For a lot of you, there might be as well, I, I'm, I'm sensing, you know, that, that whole analogy with the ship, kind of like it, it's docked in the harbor for way too long and it's starting to get rusty that's what you're feeling like you feel like I need to do more with my life I need to experience more I need to live more I need to travel more so there's a lot of uh, potential as well for possibly you know traveling going to a place to see some you know going back to see an old friend somebody like a childhood friend that you've grown up with or you know there's some type of travel associated with it um the moon card in the reverse with the tower is usually as well indicative of truths being coming uh, or coming to light and truths being revealed in a way that it's pretty much you know irreversible and it allows you a chance to move forward, okay? When it's in the upright, it indicates confusion, you know, knowing that there's more to the story but not knowing the whole story. When it's reversed, it basically means that, you know, the everything is coming to light and as a result of it, there is going to be a new path that is forged for you. So I do feel that... Let me see, we do have a... Um, I do sense that there is going to be some type of um, awakening within you. This is kind of like your soul's yearning, okay, to be in relationships as well, to um, to date a different type of people because I feel like, you know, you, you that naturally and then the money will flow in. So this is the, the, the major, major takeaway message for the month and it's also the breakaway um, from whatever attachments you've had with money okay so I definitely feel that the main thing is you want a job where you're happy especially a job that is outdoors for a lot of you I feel that it is going to be much better for you so you need a lot more sunlight you need a lot more activity you need a lot of you know just a natural environment and it's going to make you feel better rather than artificial lighting rather than working the night shift and working in the building and there's like constant constant artificial lighting you're going to need to do it more of the natural way so um, this also indicates to me possibly you know a lot of detoxing and things like that when it comes to health so you know healing cleansing detoxing and and you know using natural remedies okay